Hello, you're watching PokerNews.com. I am Laura Cornelius, joined by Fedor Holtz here at the PokerStars Championship in Monte Carlo. We are chatting to you, though. You have a brand new idea concept. Tell us all about it. Um, so basically, it's not that brand new. I've been, I founded the company like last year after the summer when I didn't feel like, you know, I don't, I don't want to play poker that much anymore. And I went on kind of a journey to figure out what I want to do. And I took basically the good things I liked about poker and tried to figure out like what it was and it's really the the concept of just seeing creative things happening like creative action and seeing people do something they really enjoy and with not that many restrictions and not like these pressure and society norms and, and stuff like that so um, I don't know I just want to get a group of people together that want to do things that f they feel like help other people and they want to share with others so that's like the that's the basis concept but Prime Mind is the app, and anyone can have it, right? Exactly. So Prime is like the the company we founded, and then we're gonna have like sub sub companies basically that all share that that concept. And so Prime Mind is an app with Elliot Rowe. Um, a lot of people know him. He's an American mindset coach. Like work with a ton of athletes and like world class athletes, like poker players. And I work with him for one and a half years. And as you know, my last one and a half years have been quite quite good. So. <laughs> I feel like it was quite a, you know, quite a big, had a quite big impact on me as a poker player. So I'm, I felt like I want to share this. I want to like make this accessible for other people. And so that's how this whole idea came up. And like, I, I think this explains really well what kind of things we want to do is something I think is amazing and what other th people think is amazing. And we want to spread, spread the thing and make it accessible. And what point in your career did you think that mindfulness became important and, and when did you decide to take a mindset coach on? Um, I started with that about four years ago. Um, I think just this whole process of reflection is so much more important in poker on an everyday basis than in other things but it um, it is important everywhere like in poker you just you, you know you tilt it's, there's so many situations where you're emotionally on a really high stress level um, comparable to other situations but everywhere I think it helps you progress so much like dealing with um, like setbacks or whatever it is or like um, putting yourself in the right direction and like con connecting with the right people that are good for you and like not connecting with the ones that are bad for you and like realizing that faster all these like being more reflective basically that helps you with with all these processes. Now a lot of people would say strategy wise obviously like you're one of the best players in the world but you've also been incredibly lucky to win a lot of yeah. the tournaments that you've played and now the mindfulness bit how much do you think that is a part of winning compared with the good strategy and then the variance as well um i think it's all it all plays its own role like i think there's way more to that than than just these three parts i think like the people around you you know and what kind of mindset you are it's like there's so many little things that add up to this whole thing and i think that um, mindfulness, I mean, I, I barely use that word, but this kind of reflection, like th thinking about things, how you can improve and how you want to feel about it. I think that really, um, that is very important for every area because like whether it's your strategy, like you learn better, you start to learn better, you start to um, be able to be like you're better at um, accessing that information as well in the moment, like when you need it, you, it's, e it's coming easier basically. So. Um, I think that's more my strength actually than like the strategy part is like the making it really so I always have access to it and like I can always use it and I think that's that's like the difference. And now if people watching this want to be as good as you, what do they need to do? Um, <laughs> Download <I> mean, the app. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I think that's one part, you know, I'm not saying this is like the solution and um, I'm very excited about it. I, like I personally use it. I had like tons of sessions with Elliot, and for every, basically almost every final table we did a session before, so it's been really helpful. Um, I think just be reflective on everything you do because like everything you do, I think you can do better in some way, and it's worth thinking about, you know, whether it's worth it or not. Because if you stop at the point where you're like, okay, I do everything, like everything I do is good the way I do it, I think that's questionable. And in your little teaser video that we saw for Primed Mind, was that your home, by the way? That's that's my home. Yes. So. <laughs> um, at the end, you say people don't people maybe didn't take you seriously, but they do now. 
Do you think that was because <laughs> they thought you were too young? Like, what, any other reasons? Oh, I mean, like, maybe they didn't, you know, they didn't take me too serious for a good reason, too. Because I had to learn a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But it's, it was not like a, hey, I'm against everyone. It's more like, um, I learned a lot in the last years. And it's, I think it's really important to have a very high input of information and then make use of it. And I think, um, in the beginning, I was clearly not one of the best and I think putting myself out there over and over again and like trying to compete and like trying to get in the highest stakes and like talking to the right people I think that's what I did different than a lot of other people did because they like never really exposed themselves and they just went like with a comfortable mode and so I, I think that's that's what I want to encourage is like you know go more out of your comfort zone and then it suddenly becomes something that is your comfort zone. And are you going to keep playing poker? You're not playing the main but we yeah. saw you in the super high roller. Um, I'm here for, I feel like poker is a smaller part now, like I really enjoy it. I mean the final table and everything, like you have, still have the emotions and it's, I feel like it's, it, that's never going to go away. You know, when, you, when you're on a big final table and you're with like the, the best competition, it's just exciting and you sweat every, like literally yesterday I was sweating every all day and I just loved it. And um, yeah, I, I don't know, like the people as well, like I loved to see my friends here and spend time with them and it's sunny outside so it's beautiful and I'm just having a good time. Do you prefer to play in a super high roller though with such an elite yeah. feed with more pressure, you know? Yeah, it's that. that's why I, like, I really also, I, I think the social interaction is a big part of it for me too. Like the whole um, competing on a very high level rather than just like go on the grind and make money. It's like these are the two separate things. Because a lot of people would say, why would you want to play in a super high roller field with all of the best players? Surely it's easier to make money with people who are not as good. It's more fun though. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for chatting with us. Um, where do people go if they want to find out more about Prime Mind? Um, I think it's easy to find. Like uh, it's pr at Prime Mind on Twitter. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and we're gonna launch uh, end of May. So uh, be ready to download the app. Got the balloons ready? Yeah, PrimeMind.com if you want to like um, subscribe for beta testing, so you can like get some tapes uh, before you know before we launch. Because we still wanna like we we wanna get show people about it right now so we can get like feedback and test the app and everything works smooth and then we launch it and hopefully that that works out well okay, well best of luck with it Thank you. i'm sure it's going to do really well fado holtz i'm laura cornelius this is the focus Arts championship in monte carlo and you are watching poker news